All right. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, and and double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, hopefully they got their pushing his word and truth, and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of the Howard by Shema Shah, pushing to get up out of here, shout on to the hopefully the believers, the listeners, who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, Howard by Shema Shah, all right, we're at GMS Mississippi Camp, and the brother Yasha Martin to my left. Hello. All right, and what we're going to go into, you know, something that we were speaking on you know, on the way over, on the drive over, and um, just going into your how was shot being undisputed. You know, it's going to be, all right, no explanation needed when your how was shot comes to conquer the earth and righteousness, okay? Because this is the end game of the message of the prophets, is the second coming of your how was shot. Because we talk about, you know, the famines, the economy crashing. Uh, the, the, the race wars, the civil unrest, okay, the MOTB, World War Three, well, all that is ushering in, all right, the rulership of Yahusha, okay, the invasion of Yahusha at that man, Yahusha and the heavenly host, the heavenly armies, okay, and when he comes back, he's going to be the undisputed king of kings of the world, all right, thus said the scripture, you know, so we're gonna get that word undisputed because you know you you hear that term throwing around a lot, especially in, in boxing, all right? You will have, you know, a certain fighter in a particular weight class, and he will have all the belts, okay, that were, they were in that weight class, and they will make him the undisputed, okay? Because if you had this guy in the same weight class with a belt, then this guy over here got a belt in the same weight class, and that guy got a belt in the same weight class, well, neither one of them is undisputed until they face off with each other, okay? And if there's one that, 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 that emerges victorious with all the belts, that will make him undisputed. Like when uh, Crawford just beat Spence for all the belts, you know, in the, in the 147 weight class where they made Crawford undisputed, okay? There's no question about who's the best at 147. Well, Yahweh Shai, when he comes, there's going to be no question of who's the ruler, all right, of the earth, man. Okay, you can say something. Okay, you got it, bro. His definition for undisputed. Yep. Not disputed or called in question. Yep. Accepted. Not disputed or called in question or it's going to be accepted. Okay? There ain't going to be no debates about, okay, well, yeah, there ain't going to be no debates where, where Russia might emerge, you know, China can make it come. Nah. America going to make it. Nah. Hell nah. There ain't going to be no question. You know? It's going to be without question. And it's going to be, see how shy rulership is going to be accepted by everyone. Mm. All right? Let's get, um, if you have something to say? Yeah, yeah go make one, bro. If I may add, it's, it's not going to be any other God, any yeah. other old God with any other doctrine. Because yeah. what's happening in the earth is the doctrine of the scripture is all unfolding. Exactly. Famine, you got, you got pestilence, these all famines, these rumors of wars, wars. Earthquakes in diverse places, sea coals just opened up. Mm -hmm. All according, all according to the scriptures, along with what they are kind of trying to come in with this, what is the fourth or fifth or uh, um, fourth, uh, fourth industrial revolution? That yeah, the fourth industrial revolution. All that is happening alongside this, as the scripture has said. Mm -hmm. That's what what's, what that's making. Yeah, how was shot undisputed? Yeah, how was by Hashem? Yeah, was shot undisputed. The Bible is undisputed, you know, because ain't nothing ever failed that the Lord prophesied. Nothing has failed. Mm. Even us waking up, we're in the, we we are uh, a token that the Lord's word is undisputed just by us being here. You know those dry bones, mm -hmm. Ezekiel thirty-seven. Yeah, so just to drive on the brother point, man. You know, brother making a good point. The Bible itself, the fact that everything has happened that's written in the bible either has happened is happening now or getting ready to happen the bible is undisputed and who's the volume of the book yahweh shot huh. okay let's get that in a matter of fact oh uh, yeah get that in philippians yeah this is philippians chapter 2 verse 9 yeah wherefore the most High have 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 also high exalted himself yep and giving him a name which is above every name. Yeah, the, that's to my Yahweh Shah. 
Okay, and the name also goes into his authority, his rank. That's above every rank and authority. The house is going to come back, all right? And he's going to establish his rank in the earth. He's going to establish his authority in the earth. Okay, go ahead. All right, let me read that one more time. All right. Wherefore the Most High have high exalted, exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Yep. That at the name of Yahweh every knee should bow. Every knee should bow. Go ahead. Of things in heaven and things in earth. Yeah, things in heaven and things in the earth. Go ahead. And things under the earth. Yep. So all creation is going to bow, okay, to the authority of Yahweh Shai. Okay? All creation is going to bow. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Yeah, and see, the, the, Yahweh Shah is going to establish his authority with great power. You know? The, the, the Yahweh Shah is coming back to showcase so much power. That's why he's going to run through the militaries of the earth. You know? What is he coming back to do? To wage war. Okay? And after he runs through the militaries of the earth, he's going to be undisputed. It's going to be without question. Mm. What else you going to do? After you see him run through all the militaries of the earth, what... You got to buy down. Mm. <laughs> Whoever remain got to buy down. You know? You see it on the House of Dragon, man. You know, after a particular defeat. Okay? Hey, the, hey you got to bow the knee. <laughs> okay? And if you don't bow the knee, you out of there. <laughs> okay? You're going to get that too. Matter of fact, get that, uh, 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 in, uh, Luke 19. It started on uh, 12. You know? This is Luke chapter 19, verse 12. He said, Therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom. And the nobleman is Yahweh Shah. And in a far country, he went into the spiritual realm. Okay? He went to receive a kingdom from who? The heavenly father. Which means the heavenly father has granted Yahweh Shah authority to have dominion in the earth. Okay? Every no one comes into power without it being ordained by the heavenly father. That's why he goes Dane the seventh chapter. Matter of fact, uh you finished the precept. And to return. Yep, and to return. See now we're speaking of his return when he's gonna come back undisputed. Mm. But let's go Daniel the seventh chapter. Which that's what we've been you know we've been going over that dealing with the different empires, right? Okay. Well, our empire is also mentioned, the Shah's empire is mentioned in Daniel the seventh chapter. Okay, so let's start at uh, 13. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. Yep. I saw in the night vision, and, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven mm -hmm. and came to the ancient of days. And they brought him near before him. So this was the house shot being brought to the heavenly father. Okay, go ahead. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nation and language should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. His kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Yeah, so the kingdom that Yahweh Shah is coming to establish has been ordained in the spiritual realm. That's why every need gonna bow because mm. it's already been given to him he just he's just a, a thing of timing <laughs> all right but the kingdom is already Yahweh Shai. the rulership of the earth already belongs to Yahweh Shai. Esau just playing his time out okay so when he comes back that nobleman when he comes back from the spiritual realm when he returns the heavens being open that's him coming from the <laughs> for our journey Okay, coming into this realm to establish what we just read in Daniel 7 and 13 and dominion. Okay? He's going he's gonna to be uh, undisputed in all, all manner because, mm -hmm. again, going to the doctrine, Leviathan is supposed to rise up, right? Yep. You see, you have these other uh, other doctrine of these other false gods that say like, one, uh, Ragnarok, a great wolf, the giant wolf supposed to come in the world ending. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you won't have Leviathan, Yahweh shall return. Well, mm -hmm. Leviathan is doing his thing, Yahweh shall going to return. And that's, you know, that's pinning down all these other idol gods. All the idol doctrines. All, yeah. Come. Pagan doctrines. Yeah. Pagan doctrines. Yeah. All, all of them going to be put down. He'll be like, this is the this is the power of the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is the one they've been speaking about. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like you said, Leviathan, 
Gonna, gonna, gonna bow to you, Alshon. Come. Kind of. how, how, how much authority is that? When you got this terrible beast wreaking havoc in the earth in the end time, all right? But at the presence of your house shot, you know, he just cease and bow down. Come. Kind of. <laughs> you see? Like, you got to see that, man. Like, the brother, was, he was speaking on it. You know, on the way over here, man, I seen it when he said it. It's like, damn. <laughs> you know, you got to bro. So like, you got you to gotta see, like, you see all the animals. You see all the animals, you know, because you you going to have them animals in the old... Uh, out there in the old cities and stuff, you know, tearing up people, but you see them just stop and bow down every animal, mm -hmm. every creature. Mm -hmm. That's undisputed. You're going to know who it is, and it's going to be terrible. Mm -hmm. What you want me to get? We're going to continue. Go back to uh, that Luke 19, read 12 again, then jump to uh, 27. This is Luke chapter 19, verse 12. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom yep. and to return. Yeah, that's your house shot. Now we're speaking on the return. Okay, go ahead, jump 27. Verse 27. But those mine enemies, which would not, which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. And that's going to go to all the rebels, the Israelite rebels throughout the earth, man. You know, after you see Yahweh Shah come back with his great power, and you still, okay, <laughs> as we're looking now, all right, you still <laughs> want to uh, deal with Jesus, <laughs> okay? Because you got these, uh, like Asher over there, you know, having a little birthday party, but they got the Jesus. That's a spirit, though. Mm. You know, that precept came out, you know, because a lot of our people, they want Jesus to reign over them, you know, they want the, the, the Edomite. Uh, a God to reign over them, man. Okay? But nah, the house shy gonna be it, man. You know, because there's a lot of self hatred, you know, within the tribe. They mm -hmm. don't see themselves as, you know, they got a low self image of themselves, and that's why you see them conform to Esau, you know, because they got a low self image of themselves. So they're looking at your house shy, like, nah, you know. <laughs> but they're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, put, you're gonna bring you before your house shy, and the head's gonna roll, man. Mm. Okay? So let's get uh, it's second Ezra 13. You know, because Yahweh Shah is coming to tear this place apart, man. And let's start at, um, let's start at, uh, second Ezra. Let's see. Second Ezra 13, probably start at, Um, man, fact started at once. Start at once. Start at the top, brother. This second Ezra chapter 13, verse 1. Yeah. And it came to pass after seven days, I drank a dream by night. Yeah, go ahead. And, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea that moved all the ways thereof. Yeah, go ahead. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousand of heaven. Yeah, this year I was shot. And he waxed strong with the thousand of heaven, the heavenly host. So Ezra is having a, a vision of the, the second coming of uh, Yahweh Shah. You know, he's having that uh, uh, vision. You know, the Lord showing him a vision of Yahweh Shah's second coming. They return. Go ahead. And when he turned his countenance to look, mm -hmm. all the things trembled that were seen under him. Yep. The nation going to be terrified, man. The earth going to be terrified at the return of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Come back in their father cherry, Yahweh Shah on that cherry, man. Hey, this is going to be, hey, it's gonna be a, a, a terrible king. Mm. <laughs> you know? Hey, he's going to come in that state as the king of terrors, man. Go ahead. And when, and when so ever the voice went out of his mouth, all uh, they burnt that heard his voice. Yeah, and that's the, the laser beams coming out of the chariot, man. Okay, the mouth represents the opening of the chariot. Okay? And his voice, because you, you, you speak something, all right? Yeah, it, it's action. Okay, so it, it, it's not, this fire going to be coming out of his mouth, you know? It's going to be the, out of the chariot. He's going to speak through that chariot. <laughs> That's going to be him speaking. You know, matter of fact, just to prove that, get that in um, Isaiah 66. 
65, just to prove that Yahweh Shai coming to speak to you niggas with fire, man. Okay? Yeah, Isaiah. Yeah. Get Isaiah 66 and 15. Oh, I'm sorry. Then we we'll go back to the edges. This is Isaiah 26, 6, verse 15. Yep. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind go ahead. to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And his rebuke mm -hmm. <laughs> with flames of fire. Because, like, you, get, you know, you get a rebuke video now. It's just brother speaking in the spirit. Okay, but when Yahweh Shai comes back, how he gonna rebuke with fire? That's gonna be his voice. Mm. That command. Yeah, that's gonna be his voice. The fire, that fire hitting your ass. That's him. That's his rebuke to you. Cause all the talking being done now. So when Yahweh Shai come back, he gonna rebuke with fire, man. Okay. <laughs> you got it, bro. Let me jump back to uh, second here. Matter of fact, read sixteen. I right, go back to Isaiah 16. 16, 16. Yep. Verse 16. For by fire and by his word will the Lord. By his sword. Oh, oh so like it. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Yep. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's another thing that how shall gonna have so many bodies when he comes. <laughs> he gonna catch so many bodies when he come, man. And it's well deserved. You know, because hey, the, the the earth is just is just oozing in wickedness, man. Mm. Your house shopping to come clean this place up, man, and righteousness, man. Okay, get that real quick in Jeremiah twenty five and thirty three. Okay, your house shot coming to catch a lot of bodies, man. Putting a lot, he's sending a lot of spirits back to pops. You know, go ahead. It's Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33. Yeah. And the slain of the Lord shall be at the day from one end of the earth even unto the end of the earth. Yeah, from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. Slain of the Lord. Yeah, I was shopping and go through the earth slaughtering. Because mm. this is what? This is a very anti Messiah society. What the scripture say? There be many antichrist. Mm. Yeah. So, hey, guess what? He finna be anti. Uh, <laughs> your ass, goddamn. You know, your house shot, he gonna be anti your ass when he get back. Mm. Okay? From one end of the earth, them chairs just gonna be, because the missiles gonna be, the, the missiles gonna be uh, 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 wreaking havoc in America. They gonna hit other parts of you know, the earth as well, but mainly in America. And then them chairs gonna be throughout the earth, man, giving folks their work. Mm. You know? So let's go back to, um, Second Israel. But now we're going to Yahweh Shah facing off with these militaries of the earth, man. Okay. Starting, who was that? Five, huh? Oh, 13. Okay. Yeah. The second Ezra chapter 13, verse 5. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of the number from the four winds of heaven yeah so all the, the militaries of the earth every nation that has a military okay are going to do what gather to come against your house shot go ahead to subdue the man that came out of the sea yeah and the sea is speaking of the atmosphere you know because the atmosphere is, is, is a form of water as well mm. okay just in a different form all right then h2o okay but it's, it's, it's considered water as well, okay? So that's the sea that you come out of with the atmosphere, okay? Go ahead. But I beheld, and lo, he had great himself a great mountain mm -hmm. and flew upon it. Yeah, so there's a cherry, like he was on the cherry so big, it's like a mountain. <laughs> Go ahead. But I would have seen, yeah. excuse me, but I would have seen the rain or place, the region or place where out the hill was Greek, Graven, yep. and I could not. Yeah, so he couldn't even see the end where the, where the, where the chariot ended. <laughs> you see? He couldn't even see the end of the chariot, man. All right? Showing you how huge the chariot is going to be. That fathership, man. Okay, go ahead. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they were, 
all they which were gathered together to, to subdue him was so afraid. They were so afraid. Because you got to remember, you a fighter jet. You a fighter pilot. When you, the atmosphere opened up and then this huge cherry come in to where, you know, you can't even see the end of it. It's going to blot out the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you and your little F-22. <laughs> <laughs> you know, F-35, Lightning, F-16, whatever, you know. Apache helicopter, you you see, you know, you like, God damn. You know how it's going to be? I'm like, God damn. It's going to be like slinging stones at a warship. Yeah. You know, you're going to be like, why are we here? <laughs> you know, well, that is, you know, the Hall of Night. Don't you shoot that little motherfucker no more. All right, stop it. You know, y'all remember that Hall of Night? I know it's a little older movie, you know. You got it, bro. To subdue him, <laughs> all they were gathered together to, to subdue him were so afraid, and yet they fight. Yeah, they thirst fight. The Lord gonna put the spirit on them to fight for prophecy's sake. Because that war in heaven got to take place. Mm. You know? So the Lord gonna put the spirit on them to fight. Okay? So they thirst fight. And this is Yahweh Shah going against all, okay, the heathens, all right, of the world at one time. All the heathen militaries of the earth at one time. Okay, go ahead. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude, that he came and he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. Yeah, the house shot just gonna be on that chariot, man. Okay, and whatever he thinks, that's what that chariot gonna do. Mm. Okay, so he's not, he's, he's not gonna uh, 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 be kicking. All right, uh, 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 Brazilian jiu-jitsu on you niggas, man. <laughs> you know, putting you niggas in, you know, grabbing you now, nah, man. He's going to be on that chair, and whatever he thinks that chair is going to do, that chair is going to be getting down. All right, he ain't going to have to have no sword come, you know, uh, be a swordsman with you niggas, come fencing with you niggas, man. Mm. Okay? It's going to be that, 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 that fire. And that fire is going to be from another realm. Like, mm. it's going to be a different type of fire. You know? It's going to be a different type of heat. It's going to be a whole different level of, uh, of elements. See, how shot coming back with, with, with a whole other level of elements for you niggas, man. Mm. Okay? Go ahead. But only, I, but only I saw that he went, excuse me, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, mm -hmm. and out of his lips a flaming breath. Yeah, out of his lips a flaming breath. Going back to the opening. All right, go ahead. And okay. out. Go ahead. And out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. Mm -hmm. And they were all mixed together: the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. Yeah, so. How shot just gonna have so much coming out that cherry, you know? So, uh, it look like a tempest, like a tornado, mm. you know, like a storm of fire. Like, it's just gonna, how shot just gonna have fire just going crazy, man. Okay, against these heathen militaries, man. Okay, your house shot finna come get busy with these militaries, man. Oh, that, 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 that's, that's what you're not being told. <laughs> Go ahead. And burn them up, every one. Yep. So that upon a so that upon a setting of a in number multi, multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and small or smoke and smell of smoke. Yeah, only dust and smell of smoke. They're gonna be quick work. It's gonna be quick. You see, and then like I said, he gonna be undisputed. Cause Russia gonna be there, China gonna be there, America, all these EU nations. Okay. North Korea with they few, you know, a little, <laughs> little aircrafts. Everybody going to get it. So there ain't going to be nowhere Russia went there. So we don't know. Nah, everybody going to be there. He's going to be laughing on standing. Yeah. Like they have in them, you know, them uh, wrestling matches. They, they have like, Royals. yeah, one of the yeah. battle royals and only one standing. Yeah. The under, you the champion. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody going to get their work. Everybody going to get their smoke. They <laughs> just say what, what, what was left. Uh, read it so that upon a sudden 
of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be per, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. <laughs> you see, everybody gonna get this smoke. All right, and this is screwed like even this this language that Jake had. Like really, they because everything worked for a favor of your mm. But even the language that niggas got, what niggas got, uh, uh, uh pull up. <laughs> I'm a slide. Mm. Who wants the smoke? Hey, this this you how a shot in his second coming. Mm. He come back, he gonna slide, he gonna pull up with all the smoke. Mm. You know? And what niggas say I'm the, I'm the I'm a big stepper. You know, some niggas say I'm the biggest stepper. Well, you how a shot finna show you nah, he's the biggest stepper. I'm gonna hit you with that fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? All oh, this is Yahweh Shah's second coming, man. Okay. Uh, I think that was it on this. So, let's get um, let's get that in on his one forty-four. You know, call her Lord and Lord Yahweh Shah. Lord, we'll part of the army, man, because the hundred forty-four thousand is part of this this military campaign. All right, that the Lord is finna wage in the earth and righteousness, man. You know, Lord, we'll we'll part of the house of David. You know, that's gonna wage that war okay against this place man all right so right now we're waging war in the spirit mm. you know but it's gonna get a time where hey, it's gonna get physical man all right and we're gonna be part of, of those troops okay as the lord's army you know you got leviathan in the sea the house of david as the ground forces and you have a shot in the angels as the air force man mm. okay this is this is a righteous military campaign that we're part of that's why Hey, the spirit be, you know, brothers, hey, get serious minded, man. <laughs> you know, like, you really got to tap in. Like, this is a real war. Like, it's finna, get, it's finna get busy out here, man. We can't think like civilians. You know, you have your little downtime, but even then, you still aware. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, military, like, you, like, for real military men, like, even when they chilling, they always peeping. Time. You know, only you've been around them, but they always they can be drinking a beer with the fam, grilling. But they always, you know, that's the spirit we in, man. Cause we're part of the Lord's army, man. You know, you had something to say? Nah, nah. Okay, let's get that in. Um, we get that in. Uh, Revelation 19, start at 11. We can end it there. Read down. It's Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. Yeah. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. Yeah, so going back to heaven opening, or him coming out of the sea, the atmosphere, all right? So the, the, that portal going to open for your house shot to come into this realm. Okay, go ahead. And in righteousness, he does judge and make war. In righteousness, he does judge and make war. How shot coming to make war. How you be undisputed, you got to go to war. Mm. Okay, it's only one way to be undisputed. You got, you got, so we can talk. You know, he can have his favorite box. I can have mine. They both got belts. Okay, but how how do we solve this argument? They got to fight. Mm -hmm. They got to clash. Everybody got their doctrines and philosophies and deep mystical uh, 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 doctrines and all these. Okay, well, let's let these doctrines clash. Uh, clash then. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to see what Hotel and, and Amen Ra, okay, we're going to see what they're going to do. Buddha, we're going to put everything to the <laughs> test. You know, I lie. That nigga going to have to, hey, we're going to see. <laughs> you know, <laughs> see here, we got to see. Because everybody, you, everybody can have a, 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 everybody can have a rational argument. Before the fight, mm. like you could be making points about your fighter, you know his strengths, and you know, I could be making points about mine. Okay, and you we can have okay, uh, acceptable arguments, rational arguments. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then when it actually go down, mm. <laughs> you see, when it actually happened, then nah, I don't know. Nah, this is what it is. Okay, and that's how you have a shot coming, man. You got it, bro. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. I were many crowns. Just like you see, those boxes had what? Many belts. 
Okay? It shows they dominant in their weight class, man. Mm. So you have Shaq gonna have these many crowns, it's gonna show his dominance in the earth. Anybody, any heathen that has authority, you have Shaq coming to take that. Okay? He taking all authority. You see? Go ahead. And he had a name written that no man knew but himself. Well, no man knew but himself. And that name goes to his authority as we go into. Okay? You see, no one else, you know, uh, uh, has the authority of Yahweh Shai. You know? And no one outside of the elect. All right? Because himself also goes into uh, his body. You know, mm. With a body. <laughs> you see? So no one knew the name, but, but he himself. No one really has a true reverence for Yahweh Shai as the elect. For his authority. Okay? Go ahead. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Yep, and this is symbolic talk for the slaughter. Remember, the, the slain of the Lord going to be from what? One end of the earth to the other. So mm -hmm. in the ancient world, if you was a, a mighty warrior and you were just mowing men down, you know, with the sword, because it was, it was close to close combat, okay? Well, you had their blood all over your garments, mm -hmm. okay? Over your vesture, okay? So it's just symbolic that he's coming back as a mighty warrior mowing through all right the earth man go ahead and his name is called the word of the most high and his name is called the word of the most high go ahead and the armies which were in heaven followed him on called white horses yep the chariots and the rest of the angels the host all right go ahead clothed in fine linen go ahead. white and clean yep and out of his mouth broke a sharp sword that would that with it he should smite the nation yeah and the sharp sword is what a deadly weapon mm. all right what's gonna be that deadly weapon that fire is grouped with flames and fire okay go ahead and he shall rule them with a rod of iron go ahead and he treaded the wine press of the of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty power yeah so if you tread the wine press you will be stomping grapes you know you'll go through stomping grapes to get the juice out Okay, but well, that's how the how shot coming back to slaughter. It's gonna be like stomping grapes, man. Big stepper. Yeah, with fears and she was stomping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting up all yeah. up. Yeah, big stepper. <laughs> okay, he coming back to be that big stepper in the earth, man. Okay, you can read. And he had his, and he had on his vesture. And on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Undisputed. Undisputed. Okay? That's what your house is coming to be. Undisputed. No doubt about it. No question. The undisputed king of king and lord of lords. Okay? So this is what we had in the movie, man. Where your house is about to be the king of king and lord of lords. He's going to be undisputed ruler of the planet earth, man. Okay? Because it's like a lot of times you have a new king to come in. You know, and then you will have people trying to, you know, other people trying to stake claim to the throne and what? Nah, uh-uh. It's undisputed here. No. Yeah, nah. Don't nobody want that. <laughs> you know, nah. Don't know, ain't nobody gonna want none of that action, man, after this display of power. Mm. Okay? You had anything else? Mm -hmm. Hey, with that, I know we pray that you brothers, all right, and... If you sisters were edified once again, give all praise on the glory and to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, and and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to our younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully, Shalom. Shalom.